Well, hello there, you two. <laughs> Welcome to Tuesday the 22nd, I think it is. Maybe the 21st, I have no idea. Um, Yeah, it's 4.30 in the afternoon. So Kelly had a doctor's appointment today. It was a regular doctor. It's kind of a like pre thing until her she gets that uh that wireless insulin thing on uh on Monday. But uh yeah anyway, uh she come back. I uh we had a little had a little snack and I mean I went out. That's the police officer just turned his lights on and hauling butt. Man, I mean he is moving you have to see how fast he's leaving going down the hill man but anyway holy moly can <laughs> i just I'm almost punch drunk i don't even know where i'm at wow can't believe i slept for that long and it's like three hours or better that's crazy i woke up and i didn't know what happened <laughs> i thought it was the middle of the night I woke up and i was like wait a minute I see light outside. What's going on? There's not much light. But uh, anyway, her appointment went great. Her A1C's down. Said she's doing fantastic. So then she goes over Kelly's numbers, you know, from her little, you know, tool that she uses to test her blood all the time. And, and uh, yeah, she's doing good. And um, I forget what she's talking about. I guess everything's going cool with, the only problem is that the the tester thing hasn't shown up yet, and I don't remember. I think she's going to talk to her about that, but we never discussed that. So I'll get back with you on that later. But uh, yeah, it's been. I don't think it's rained much today, but it has just been dark most of the day. First thing this morning, around nine or so, there was sun out for a little bit. Then, oh, look at that! You can actually see some blue out there. And then it turned like this. So that second um, dust bag showed up um, today. And I, I kept meaning to, it said it was out for delivery. And what literally woke me up is Kelly took, I don't know, one of the dogs, took one of the dogs, walked all the way out to the highway out there and, uh, and got it. It woke me up when she came back. I was hearing noise and going, what is that? Who is that? You know, <laughs> look at that sunset starting to cast a glow up there. Is that cool or what? But yeah, her coming back woke me up. Sasha and Nanny are out there on their little runners hanging out. Their little their little home away from home. They got a huge area back there. And of course, that part up front. And my little RC area that. I keep saying I'm gonna come out here and modify and do something else with and there she sits the same things you I don't know how you how you get sidetracked on on your ideas of doing things my little ramps my little rock bridges all the stuff that kind of stays the same doesn't it but have fun with it. Oh, what am I do with myself now? Look at that. They went digging and kicked a bunch of the dirt out into the grass. I need to get that rake back or you'll never recover it. At least it's the gravel. When you do it in the dirt in the yard, that stuff just disappears when you do that. Yeah, that's beautiful. That sun skimming across and hitting them clouds like that. Ah, it's beautiful. Anyway, <laughs> welcome to the day. Good Lord. You mean to sleep the thing away? That's crazy. Oh, my Lord, I haven't even turned the video live. Holy moly. I never turned yesterday's video live. Hold on, I gotta go do that right quick. Well, here's the ultimate low-light test for this Osmo Pocket. We got a little more than a half moon going up going on up there i don't think it's focusing on it look at this 
It's like 7.30 at night. It is cold black out here at the moment. That's wild though. That's crazy. Crazy dark. And that thing's pulling that thing out. That's cool. It's a light bit of moon glow out here. <laughs> Not too many motorcycles, if any, can provoke the satisfying feeling of motorcycles like a Harley Davidson. I mean, whether you're into them or not, you you can't deny that whatsoever. I mean, you can't. Oh, I'm trying to squeeze my way through here. I'm trying to get a shot of a tank that comes over clear. That that one works. But um, yeah. So increasingly, and I mean ever so increasingly, that same feeling you totally, totally get. Out of these Royal Enfields, the world's oldest motorcycle manufacturer, started in 1901. Now I know some of you guys are gonna go, well, Indian did too. Well, Indian was gone for about 50 years, and some ATV company bought him out and just, just borrowing the name. There's no, there's no true history. There's not a you know that much history in it i mean the early stuff was fantastic and i mean famous the world the fighting world of harley and indian back in the days of races and everything else is so cool love all that historical stuff but you know i told you i'm kind of going crazy over that that stupid um classic 350 i'm just infatuated with that thing and I may, I'll let you guys know, there may be something, I haven't talked to anybody yet, but I found one some somewhere that I might be able to get a really good deal on one. And it's brand new. But in my quest for, uh, you know, looking at those things, you know how you get, you get obsessed with something and you, one of the best places you can find cool stuff is on YouTube, you know. So I've been watching all these videos well, I came across this, this one dude, and his channel name is uh, the Blingley Wheeler. And uh, he came out with this video. It's about a month old now. Um, he He's really big in the Royal Enfields and stuff. In fact, he's he's got a, um, not too long ago, bought a Super Meteor. And uh, anyway, this video is about a month old now. It's called uh, Super Meteor and Bonneville T100 exploring beauty in a damaged world dude you have got to watch that video if you're a boomer or a gen xer and you're into motorcycles you got to watch that thing in fact it it touched me so much i had kelly come in and and i watched the thing again while she watched it and she goes she goes wow i can feel tingling in my head she goes I just it, it it'll grab you especially if you're into you know the history and of old motorcycles and stuff like that and just you know this new craze of of um well Harley doesn't have to do that they're just always been the same I mean things update sometimes they have to because world of emissions you know they don't they can't pass emissions that's why the Sportster's gone. There's nothing they could do to that motor to make that thing pass emissions. So the rest of the world wasn't going to do it. So the last year of them, they were only sold here in the States. Because they're stricter than us here in the States. So um, anyway, that's why there's now the, the, the new water-cooled Sportster's. And they're cool, they're fast, you know, it's like the Pan America. It's it's based on that Pan America motor they got in there. They're cool and everything, but that's just unfortunately they've left me behind. I'm just I'm not interested in that in the least. They're still cool, they're still a Harley, and they'll make their own history, you know, like all the old models that are gone now, you know, made their own history in time that you look back and marvel on, you know. 
knuckle heads, pan heads, and you know, shovel heads. Everybody freaks out over because they were AMF days, but look how many people restore and drive those things around now. But uh, anyway, that video is like profound. To me, it is. It just touches deep. And I, I don't know, it's just me getting older. You know, you're thinking about the world and everything. <laughs> I, that thing's awesome. It got Kelly, too. I've watched several of his and enjoyed them. And what snagged me at first was the uh, he was riding a Himalayan. And he was discussing how the 450 is coming about. and He's got a um, 411 Scram. And um, so as he's riding, he hadn't rode a Himalayan before. So he was riding his buddies and through the country talking about how the season's coming to an end and all that stuff. And, which I can relate because their weather and our weather are virtually the same. When my dad moved us up to the Pacific Northwest with his work... My mom loved it here. She goes, this is like home in Ireland. It reminds me of the moss everywhere and all the rain and everything. She goes, that's home. But anyway, watch that video. That's pretty cool. And I'm just like these things, the old school motors and stuff like that. The new 450 that will probably, you know, just in every way leave this thing in the dust. But I will, I'll still stick to... To my old Himalayan. I think oh well it'll outlast me, no problem. Definitely the Harleys will. And there's no reason to think these the Royal Enfields won't either. But man, there's something about that old school you know the what the bullet or whatever first came out in nineteen thirty four or something like that? Thirty four, thirty eight? Don't correct me. I, I don't, I didn't pay that much attention to the stats, so whatever it is, it is. You know, it was in the 30s. And um, that 350 Classic kind of goes back to, I think it was a model in the 50s or something. They, I don't know which one it was. I don't know the exact details. I didn't study the history that much, but it's very classic and really cool. It's a little slower than, than these, but, uh, you know, Indian is getting really good. Their attention to detail is is top notch, but yet they're still able to sell those things at a price that's uh, it's hard to resist. I know it's a bad time of year, especially as slow as it is at work. But I don't know if I can snag this thing. I haven't even talked to them over there. It's it's at our sister store in Bend. They're a Royal Enfield dealer, and I see I just see something there that I'm interested in. We'll see. Anyway, I'll, I'll, show, I'll pull that bag apart. I'll show you that uh, dust cover for the RC um, cars and trucks. I'll show you how vacuum packed and sealed that thing is. I'll try to film that anyway. So anyway, I just thought I'd come out here and after watching that video for the second time, sit out here and hold a Himalayan or a Royal Enfield, particularly next to my Harleys. I'm just, you know, I'm in bliss when it comes to the motorcycles I have. I'm utterly, utterly as happy as I've ever been with motorcycles. Got my very first, not actually the very first one, but the exact model of the very first motorcycle I ever had. And of course, that was a Harley Davidson. Never knew. How that brand of motorcycle would change <clears throat> change my life forever. Definitely. As long as I can, I'll still be riding. And I would say easily my second favorite are these Royal Enfields. The history of them. How they care about what they're doing. How they're, you know, expanding that classic motorcycle. And they're, you know, they're doing a little spin on some of these things too to make them more modern too, because they're they're trying to get a bigger audience, and it's it's working. So, anyway, let's go pull that cover out of that thing. You'll be surprised how that is. It may not shock you. Other things come that way too. Let's take a look at this little bag. That's that big old cover 
So we'll go around even a K10. I showed you last night a F-150. But uh, this thing is so vacuum packed. My microphone's probably picking up the loudest noise. So, I mean, it is solid as a rocket, so vacuum packed. And on top of that, which I guess is a good thing, I stretch it all out. <laughs> Is it's in it's in a bag on top of that. It probably keeps it from sticking sticking to itself. But it's it's a lot of work to get this thing to start to flatten out so to stick to the bag. Anyway, you get the gist right here. That's the bag. All crammed up in that little tiny thing. I guess you know if you need to, you could just uh, ball it up and take it with you. But they do work good though. This is going to be fantastic. I still haven't reordered the ones I canceled. It's during the holidays. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving and shipping so just the whole thing. Just let that settle down because Black Friday is right after that. Anyway, I'm going to use that one on the, on the uh, Ford here. The Bronco. Alright. Get out there and do a goodbye with the mama. Yo, come on along. <laughs> well, hello there, YouTube. What's well, much... Well, it's not as warm as it was last night. It was... I think the low it, lowest it got was 43 last night. I think it's like 37 now, but we're so used to them temperatures. That actually feels warm, 37 yeah, degrees. Feels good. Yeah. Nice Crazy. Fresh. That's good. Mama's doctor's appointment came out good. Everything's all, all thumbs up. Yep. That's that's cool. And it looked like it was gonna rain all day, but I don't think it ever actually rained, did it? No, no. It was just cloudy and foggy and just literally. Yeah, like everything's like rain. wet from the from the fog. The fog's so thick in the mornings this time of year, but it took forever to burn off. <clears throat> yep. But uh, anyway, um, you guys. I'll put the link down below in the description here. Go check out the, the Blingly Wheeler, that video. I'll have a link to that video. That was if you're, really good. Yeah, if you're good. younger than 30, maybe, probably not going to get any of that stuff. Yeah, it won't mean nothing. Yeah, it won't mean a thing to you, but... If you're older. If you're older class. and you're in the motorcycles, well, even not in motorcycles, <clears throat> that'll get you. That's pretty good. Yeah, that was good. So... Anyway, I think on that, we're just going to slip on out of here and call it a night. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Thursday or Friday. Heck yeah. By the time you're watching this, it'll be turkey day. Yeah. So happy Thanksgiving to all of you that observe. Yes. And don't eat too much. Yeah. And uh, on that, we'll see you on Thanksgiving. Yes, we will. <laughs> You'll see us the day after, and mm -hmm. so on and so on. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching now. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.